Hey everybody, welcome back to Nick and Nathan. Now that the WWE Royal Rumble is done, we are going to look back at our predictions and for whichever ones we got wrong, we have to eat a bean, bean boozled boozle jelly bean. bean. These things could be the regular jelly bean or they could taste downright disgusting. Trust me, we've done this before. Yep. Not and good. Unlike our board game and our old bean boozle challenge. Bad, 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 bad tasting bad, bad. stuff for sure. Let's get started. Let's take a look at our predictions. Let's start with the very first match of the night when Charlotte Flair and Asuka defended their titles against Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. Let's take a look at our predictions. Well, this is my prediction. I see the Nature Boy, like, always on while he's going to, like, interrupt. Okay, I think I'm going with Shayna and Nia getting the titles back. What do you think? Is that your official prediction? Uh, yeah. All right. So we both predicted that Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler would win the Women's Tag Championships. And, Nathan, you predicted Ric Flair interfering. Great pick, man. Yeah. And also, I kind of like this, how it happened in the World Rumble. The Nature Boy is coming out and, like, Lacey Evans will, like, win the Nature Boy's robe. I kind of like that. Like how Lacey Evans? Yeah. yeah. This makes yeah. sense. Asuka can focus on being the Raw Women's Champ. Yeah. Charlotte, get back to being that singles competitor. Those, they don't need the tag titles. Yeah. They're singles experts. They're perfect yeah. where they are. Yeah, singles for sure all the way. No bean boozle jelly beans for us. Yeah. Nice. High five. The next match of the night was Drew McIntyre defending the WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Goldberg. Goldberg. Let's take a look at our predictions. I think Drew McIntyre wins this match. That's my official prediction. Nathan, what do you think? My official is Drew McIntyre. All right. Well, you can see that we both picked Drew McIntyre. And again, we don't have to eat a bean boozled jelly bean. Next one. Okay, the next match was Sasha Banks defending her title, the SmackDown Women's Championship against Carmella. Let's take a look at the predictions. I think Carmella should be champ because I love to see Carmella as heel and as a SmackDown Women's Champion. I am have to pick Sasha Banks. She has a history of losing the championship too soon. I think she's going to stick with it for a little bit. It'll be a good match, but I'm picking Sasha. You're picking Carmella. That means one of us is definitely eating a bean boozled jelly bean after that one. As you can see, I picked Sasha Banks. And Nathan, you did predict Reginald getting involved, but you didn't predict him getting kicked out of the arena. So you picked Carmella. That is wrong. That's bean boozled can, time, well, buddy. Can I actually um, skip it since I no, predict that Reginald? No, oh, no. no, no. Right. Here we go, buddy. Go on, spin the I wheel. did not want to get bad milk. Ooh, peach or barf. Oh, my. Oh, my. Peach or barf. Are you ready? Do you cleanse your palate after eating something bad, not before. That just defeats the purpose. <laughs> I said... Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat All the way. You got to put it in. All the way. Peach or barf? Peach. Oh, you lucky. Lucky son of a gun, you. All right. The next match of the night was the Women's Royal Rumble match, where not only did we have to predict the winner, but also the final two participants in the match. And we did that just to make it a little more interesting and more likely that we'll have to eat a bean boozle for your entertainment. Let's take a look at our predictions. Yeah. I would love to see Alexa Bliss win the Royal Rumble. This new character she has is going on. It would make sense if Asuka drops the tag title and then it could focus on a lead up to WrestleMania against each other. I think Alexa Bliss, and I think the final two, okay, so if I say Alexa Bliss and Bianca Belair. I'm doing a year. twist, Ashlyn. Oh, I think Lana okay. and Bianca Belair. I'm gonna be fast. I think Bianca Belair is gonna win. Oh, so changing I twisted it up. up. Changing it she, up. She does look really good. I clearly was wrong. I am pretty disappointed with Alexa Bliss. The way that that whole thing went down. It's like yeah. they've been building up this character, adding pieces week after week after week for months now, and just as she's starting to kind of Hulk out, so to speak, into this mini fiend character she's got going. Just threw her out, lights went back on, no big deal. It really kind of killed the character a little bit. Yeah, for but 
I heard rumors that it was going to be like a fiend lost a bliss. But that's what they're getting towards, and it was just like, meh, see it, well, bye. Well, maybe it's going to build up a character who ever eliminated her. I predicted Alexa Bliss would win. I was wrong. Oh, my <clears throat> gosh. Ooh, well, okay. We're going with either birthday cake or dirty dishwater. <clears throat> dirty dishwater, if you haven't seen our Bean Boozled Challenge, I said it tasted like soap and grass combo, so I hope this is birthday cake. Well, this is your late birthday if you get oh, it. Oh, thank gosh, it's birthday cake. I also predicted the final two would be Bianca Belair and Alexa Bliss, and I was wrong. It was Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley, so I have to eat another one. Let's spin the wheel. Yeah. Oh, it's either Juicy Pear or Booger. We'll probably get one of them. You, you said you would like getting one of those? Yeah. Oh, I was like, sir, you eat your boogers? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no, that's Booger. Guys, uh, I, I'm not sure what Bianca Belair is at the end of the match when she was playing Charlotte Flair. She was like, woo! I'm like, someone's going to clear eliminate you. <laughs> I knew as soon as I put that in, I was like salty. Salty. Mm. And it was like sticking my teeth. I just want this thing to be gone. Okay, Nathan, you at first picked Lana to win over Nia Jax. But then, 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 then you switched it up in the video and you said that you predicted Bianca Belair to win and you were right. Good job. But you said she'd be in at the end against Lana. And she wasn't. It was Rhea Ripley. So spin the wheel, my friend. Oh, goodness gracious. That is a Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks. Oh, goodness gracious. Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks, my friend. I think that's like, oh, yeah, it has the color, so. I hope it's Stinky Socks. What do we have? Tutti Fruity. You suck. The next match was Roman Reigns defending the Universal Championship against Kevin Owens. Let's take a look at our predictions. So my prediction is I, I can't see Roman Reigns losing the title right now. This is a prediction by me. I would love to see this. Roman Reigns down on the table. Kevin Owens up on the ambulance or like truck or garbage truck, whatever truck, and jumps down and literally splash through the table. I would love to see that scene. I would love to see scenes like that. The big dog on rain during the trial two where it's going, ooh, whoa. We both chose Roman Reigns to win, but again, Nathan making the prediction that Kevin Owens would jump off of some sort of truck through a table of Roman Reigns on it, and he did yeah. just that off the forklift. That was pretty cool, Yeah, man. one part, I was like, yeah, a pizza slice, and I was like, where did Ron Rain go? Did he just want go to get a hot dog? And I know her. A oh. golfing car. I was like, yeah. He just murdered him. Any any thoughts on Mattel making a wrecking golf cart coming soon? I mean, geez, that thing oh, was awesome. Gosh. That was crazy. So no bean boozles for us because we both chose Roman Reigns, but that was a great match. Yeah. Right. Kevin Owens, great job, buddy. You guys yeah. did great. Great. Okay, before we get to the final match, the Men's Royal Rumble, we also went out on a limb here and chose a legend that we each thought would return, possibly. Let's take a look and see who we picked. Give me one name. John Cena. John Cena. That's probably the smart pick because he's actually been around a little bit here and there. Lita. I think Lita. I just randomly said Lita. I don't know why I felt like yeah. it'd be more likely that a female would come back. And there were a lot of female past wrestlers, but none of them were Lita. What? Yeah. So I had to spin the wheel. Eat a bean boozle. Ooh, toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Okay. Oh, no. He had stink bug before in <laughs> the, uh, was it the bean boozle challenge? <laughs> Yeah. I could smell it. He left the room. I could still smell it. I swear, if I get stink bug, I'm going to be crying. <laughs> get stink bug. Oh, God. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Smell it. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Clean your palate. Dang it, Lita. Why couldn't you have been there? All right. Can I give you a tic tac? Well, hold on. Hold on, sir. It's your turn because you 
you chose John Cena, which is funny because <laughs> when the announcer pinned R-Truth for the 24-7 championship, he said, hey, R-Truth, look, there's John Cena. Yeah. So he might have been there. Childhood hero. Really? He might have yeah. been there. I mean, yeah. maybe he was off camera, but we didn't see him. There was no proof. So John Cena, eh, Nathan, spin the wheel. Oh, goodness. I hope I know it gets stink bug. Oh, toasted marshmallow or stink bug. There's one of those left here, I think. Mm -mm -mm. Can I clean my palate? You do that after you eat something bad, not before. I said after. <laughs> Go ahead. When he did it, oh man, now chew it up, buddy. Enjoy. Oh wait, 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 chew it up. He wants to clean. Here's the thing: the uh, very berry is Shut also up. toothpaste, and neither one really tastes bad. That's what he wants to cleanse his palate. Eat that stink bug, homie. I did. Is it gone? Yeah. All right, enjoy that very berry or toothpaste. Either one's gonna be better than stink bug. When he didn't have reactive first, I thought, oh, that's for sure marshmallow because stink bug is pretty bad. But now the final match of the night was the men's Royal Rumble. Let's see who we predicted to be the winner and the final two. I think Big E's going to win the Royal Rumble. Yeah, he needs it. I think Big E's going to win the Royal Rumble. I'm going to say it again. I think Big E's going to win the Royal Rumble. Okay. If I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, then we'll show that and we can laugh at how stupid I was. <laughs> the final two in the Royal Rumble. I'm gonna say Big E and Baron Corbin. I'm going King Corbin. Big E and King Corbin. So I know Big E is definitely gonna win. Oh, did you Ever talk to somebody in WWE? You definitely. Oh, okay. Oh, do you know what I love to see? Who? AJ Styles manager. Big E against AJ Styles at the end, and then Styles' this dude tries to, the giant, tries to get in there and do something, and Big E has to overcome yet another potential screw job to win the match. I like it, Nathan. I like it. I like it. Why did I say King Corbin? I like that idea. We were clearly wrong. Okay, so here's the thing. I picked Big E, and I picked Corbin. I just knew it had to be against a bad guy. And then afterwards, I was like, why, why did I say Corbin? I should have picked Randy Orton. And that's I almost came back and changed it to Randy Orton, but I didn't. Either way, I was wrong. Bean yeah. boozle time for me, too, actually, because I picked Big E. Yeah, but it kind of makes sense for Big E to not win. He has a title already. Then he will be Big E Dose. Bells. <laughs> Dose bells. <laughs> when Big E went into it, still the Intercontinental Champ, I was like, yeah, he's probably not going to win. I was kind of hoping he might lose it. We filmed this before SmackDown. I was hoping they might have him lose it. Mm -hmm. Or even like the pre-show still before the Royal Rumble. But here, here it goes. I have to eat two of these. Oh, goodness. All right, here we go. It's either birth cake or dirty dish water. Again, I already have birthday Don't cake. Don't have yeah. too much sugar. You already have birthday cake. Birthday cake. Hey, you're having too much sugar, son. <laughs> All right, that was for me being wrong on the final two. One more here for being wrong on Big E. Oh, oh no, not the booger again. Mm -hmm. I don't even like juicy pear, so either way, this isn't going to be good. I don't care what you get, bro. There's a booger again. Dang it. No, oh, why is it so salty? I'm not sure. Boogers are salty, I guess. Booger! What? <laughs> I just count one, two, three, and the winner is Booger. Booger. Booger's winning right now in my mouth. <laughs> Bad. Bad. Now, Nathan, you also need two more bean boozles, but I want to point out something. Nathan predicted that Omos, Omos, Omos? Among Us? Who cares? Yeah, Who cares? <laughs> that AJ Styles' bodyguard would interfere with Big E. And he did. He's the one who eliminated Big E. And you predicted interference. Can I just get one? No, no, because you said Big E. <laughs> and you also said Big E and AJ would be the final two. And neither one of them were. But that was a pretty good prediction. Yeah. You predicted interference there. You predicted interference by Ric Flair. You predicted You predicted Kevin Owens jumping off of a truck of some sort. The root. <laughs> 
Roman Reigns on a table. Good yeah. job, dude. Hey, nice job. I don't know why you picked Lana to win, but other than that, it was pretty good. <laughs> oh, okay, he gets the birthday cake or the dirty dishwater. Well, I've had two birthday cakes, so. Edge, I regret, yeah. No, the odds are here. I see bronzo on this shit. It'll be chocolate. Chocolate cake. Eat it. Oh my god! Does it taste kind of like soap and grass? It does not taste good, Bob. It's not good, is it? I had it before, it was bad. Oh my god! Do, what did Kofi do to you? You know how we are two <laughs> homies here? Kofi and The Fiend, neither one of them were even there. I mean, he was there, we saw him before. Yeah. Hey, New Day, I like the uh, shout out to Luke Harper slash Brody Lee last night on the uniforms. Yeah. That was nice on the, on the tights. Yeah. But man, neither one of these guys participated at all. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, last one here, sir. You had to spin it once for being wrong on Big E and now spin it again for being wrong on Final Two. Strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish? Mm -hmm. I don't I'm not, I don't even like smoothies or so it's not even gonna matter. Yeah, you know, it's not even gonna matter. Strawberry banana smoothie, my friend, you got lucky. Okay, so here's the thing. I feel that Nathan picked Big E because he was following my lead. I've been saying for months that Big E, I think, was my favorite to win. And even though Big E probably really wasn't the favorite as the event came forward, I feel like he picked Big E partially because of me. So I'm going to take a dead fish. Or I'm sorry. Well, we'll see what it is. I'm going to take my chances with either dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie as well because I feel... Somewhat responsible for him picking big. Well, if you get um the nice like banana like strawberry smoothie, it's like a sweet strawberry, yeah. very sweet. Yeah, it's a sweet oh, brand. All right, here we go. I'm I'm doing this because I feel like I I was my fault. You picked Biggie. Oh, that's horrible. Someone call nine one one at home, please. I've never had this one before. Oh my gosh. Ref, who wins? And the winner is Dead Fish. <sighs> oh my god! Oh, that is definitely bad rotten fish smell. Don't know. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna punch you. Oh my okay. god. Don't get near me. I'm gonna take one of these to cleanse that palate. Wow, that was bad. All right, everybody. Well, there we go. We paid for our mistakes. We made predictions. Some of them were accurate. Some of them were not. We ate our bean boozles. Yeah. Some of them were nasty. Some of them were not. Hopefully, you guys yeah. enjoyed that. I think we should do this a little yeah. bit more often for all the pay-per-views. Why the heck not? But Royal Rumble is the f my favorite. I think, is that your favorite? Yeah, because yeah. legends show up anytime, any place. All right, guys. We'll see you guys yeah. next time. Nick and Nathan, if you like it, hit the yeah. like button. Subscribe if you yeah. want. We'll see you and guys. And I'm also mad at Edge because uh -huh. he won the Rumble and I had a bean boozled. Yeah, well, Thank that's you. what happens, man. 30 Thank people you, enter. Edge. I know, all right? See you guys next time. It's Nick and Nathan. <laughs>